Hello everyone, it is me, Uncle John. Today I'm going to read S1, S2, 2013, The Emperor's Birthday Suit by Cindy Wheeler. Once there lived an emperor who loved new clothes. He had so many suits that he never wore the same one twice. At the palace, the royal heifers were always weaving more cloth, sewing more suits, building more closets, and ooing and eyeing over the emperor's new clothes. And yet, the emperor was never happy. One morning, two strangers were passing by the palace. They heard the emperor shouting at his help helpers. I have nothing to wear for my birthday. I want a suit that is like no other. I want a suit that is extra special. The emperor's birthday was just one week away. Everyone in the palace was miserable. But outside the palace, the strangers were laughing. They had thought of a clever idea. It would make them rich. The strangers asked to speak to the emperor. I am Mr. Bobbin, said one. I am Mr. Thread, said the other. So, said the unhappy emperor. We are tailors, said the strangers. We are here to make you a new suit, a suit that is like no other, a suit that is extra special. Really? said the emperor. How is it extra special? We spin a very fine thread from gold and silver coins, says Mr. Robin, and into each piece of cloth. We weave a little magic, said Mr. Thread. What kind of magic? asked the emperor. Wise people can see the cloth, but fools cannot, said Mr. Thread. A suit that fools couldn't see. That would indeed be a suit like no other. The emperor told the tailors to begin at once. The royal helpers took the tailors to the royal sewing room. Then they brought in three bags of gold coins and three bags of silver coins. The tailor said they needed these coins to make the emperor's birthday suit. What a busy week. The tailors worked without a break. They spun the thread. They wove the cloth. They cut out the pieces. They sewed them together. Soon everyone in the palace was talking about the emperor's birthday suit, a suit that fools could not see, when that that one dad was extra special. On the day before his birthday, the emperor sent his helpers to the royal sewing room. Was the birthday suit ready? Yes, it was. Mr. Bobbin held up the jacket. Mr. Thread held up the pants. What do you think? asked the tailors. It's remarkable, said one helper. I have never seen anything like it, said another. All the other helpers nodded. None of them wanted to be called a fool. The helpers told the emperor about his birthday suit. Wait till you see it, they said. Words cannot describe it. The emperor was tickled. We shall have a parade, he announced. I will wear my royal birthday suit for all to see. Except, of course, the fools, he said. Everyone left. The next day, tailors brought the suit to the emperor. See how the, the gold threads shine, said Mr. Bobbin. Ooh, cried the helpers, and see how the silver threads sparkle, said Mr. Thread. 
Ah, cried the helper. But the emperor said nothing. Was he a fool? His silly helpers were all ooing and eyeing. Why couldn't he, the emperor himself, see a thing? Let us help you put it on, said the, uh, the tailors. First the pants, then the jacket. The royal helpers crowded around. It fits you perfectly, said one. It is definitely you, said another. The emperor grinned. Let the parade begin. By now, the streets were crowded with people. Everyone wanted to pe see the emperor's birthday. Everyone wanted to see the emperor's birthday suit, a suit that only wise people could see. What would it look like? First came the horses and riders, then came the clowns and jugglers. At last, the big moment arrived. A trumpet blared, and the emperor came around the corner. Isn't it grand? cried someone. Isn't it amazing? cried another. Everyone was wooing and eyeing. Everyone wanted to see, wanted to sound as wise as the next person. Suddenly a small voice called out, look, he's not wearing any clothes. The band stopped playing. The horses stopped prancing. The jugglers stopped ju juggling. The flag stopped waving. Yes, the crowd whispered, the little girl is right. The emperor's face turned bright red. He was so embarrassed. Then someone gave him an old coat. Another person gave him an old pair of pants. The crowd cheered as the emperor put on the old clothes. The emperor smiled. Then he began to laugh. We are all fools, said the emperor, except this wise little girl. She was the only one who was not afraid to tell the truth. So, so I'm making her my head upper. Then he lifted her onto his shoulders and invited everyone to the courtyard for cake and ice cream. Outside the palace, everyone was laughing. But inside the palace, Mr. Bobbin and Mr. Thread were miserable. The royal guards had caught them red-handed. They had been trying to get away with the six bags of coin. The emperor turned to his new lead people. How should we punish these two? He asked. Make them sew new clothes for all the people in the land, she said. Splendid, said the emperor. And this time he made sure the tailors used both cloth that everyone could see. The end.